The trains here talk, steam, whistle, and at times, whiz right by. The museum is a family affair, started from a lifelong collection and passion for trains. We always had the dream of the building a building, giving the trains to the people. I always wanted to make a layout because I was tired of hearing the people say, the hobby is dying. It's not dying, it just goes in phases. Getting everything up and running took the Elish family about 15 years. The layout is 32 by 145 feet, and we're very proud of the size and the way it is, because it's the biggest in our area. The elaborate display features intricate details, from Amish buggies to handcrafted picnic tables, with much of this layout paying tribute to Northeast Ohio. My end here is incorporated with a lot of industry, to the lake area, to um, the town area. We have a city amusement um, park, which you might see is replicating to like Joggle Lake, which has an operating roller coaster called the Big Dipper. A popular site in the city section is a replica of New York City's Empire State Building. It has the changing colors on top to, I can select different colors, but it's a big piece because people like the size and the height of it. The Elish family's large collection also incorporates trains and pieces people have donated to their museum. There's a 70-year-old white church on the layout, and it has a wedding going on. He knew the gentleman. He had passed away from cancer, but it, he was really special. That is one of my favorite pieces. Visitors can lose track of time taking in all of the scenes throughout the layout, which features a mix of city and country life. As you come into my side, we have the Amish area, more like Jaga County area, more like Cleveland, east side of Cleveland. This is my pride and joy of section that my dad let me have. Basically, I control this whole end for the public to see. We also have the Best Sand Company, which was made in honor of my great-grandfather, which my brother made. And we all took turns on different creativities, and we, all would, we basically would go travel around, and we would get ideas of different buildings, how things would look, the nature. So we kind of would get a good replica of how things would look, so it wouldn't look too much and it wouldn't look too little. Ashley Ellish and her brother, Tom Jr., run the trains and control the features on opposite ends of the museum. Two popular pieces on Ashley's side include the drive-in theater and the rocket ship ride. Everyone loves the rocket ships as everyone thinks of Euclid Beach Park. They were also at Draga Lake Park and everyone always talks about the cars that they ride on because the kids and families always talk like, oh, they actually work and they do, they actually start and stop. Of course, the trains delight too. Keep an eye out for the bullet that speeds along the outside track and watch the trains brought in on the roundhouse. It all gets people talking. I like modern diesels, like steam engines and stuff. But you gotta have like steam engines. A lot of older people like the steam. Kids and stuff love the railroads like CSX, Norfolk Southern. It's just things like that that the, you gotta have it for variety for everybody. Can't have one particular railroad. The museum also includes the Trading Post train shop carrying on the name of a longtime Cleveland business where Tom Sr. once worked. Back in the time in the 70s and 80s, there was a time period when I was there at the store. A lot of people would come in, holiday times, but you never hardly seen the children. They come in with their parents, but mostly it was the parents that came in. So today it's because we had this massive train display, I get the chance to share it with the children of the country in our world. And that's very important to me. The plan is to keep all these trains running well into the future, with the next generation of the Ellish family eventually taking the reins. And that makes me feel very happy and relaxed because a lot of, you know, a lot of businesses like this die, they close, because nobody's there to take over. The museum's name, Corner Field, is a nod to another family dream pursued 
a large ball field that was built for Ashley when she was 10 and sick with meningitis. I asked my dad to build me a big ball field in my front yard and he's the greatest dad in the world and my role model and he made that dream come true for me on Christmas. With that and then building this at the time, we put two and two together to make the name because that stuck and then this stuck and now it really sticks. And then it's now it's Corner Field and Trading Post Train Shop. And by God, I'm so proud of that. It's just, I can't put it in words.